All right, I've had a lot of people DM me recently about niche fragrances. It's questions like, what niche fragrance would you recommend to add to my collection? What are your favorite niche fragrances? And so I thought, okay, I might as well do a video where I share with you 10 niche fragrances for my collection that I absolutely love and highly recommend. Now I do have a ton that I really do like, but these really stand out to me. And so I thought this is the perfect opportunity to share them with you. So they're unisex. And if you're a guy watching, you're in luck. You definitely stay put and grab a cup of coffee. And we're just going to get right on into this video. All right, as I mentioned in the opening, I have 10 niche fragrances that I highly recommend, and I cannot wait to share these with you. But I would love to know what niche fragrances you guys love wearing. Let me know in the comments. Sometimes I bring in perfumes based on your guys' recommendations. So definitely recommend some niche fragrances to me. Let me know what your favorites are for sure. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. The very first fragrance that I want to share with you is Ambre Kanjar by Un Nuit Nomad. I've had this for two weeks and I'm already in love with this particular fragrance. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It is unisex. In my opinion, this is right down the middle. This is like a smoky, dry, amber fragrance. It has plum in here, like a really deep, rich black plum. There's some labdanum, some orris and sandalwood. Oh, this is such a beautiful fragrance. There's also some benzo in here as well. Now, what blew me away was the longevity. This is a very, very long lasting fragrance. It is a little on the heavier side. So I would recommend this one more for the fall, winter, the evening, but a beautiful scent. Now, as I had mentioned, this is the Unui Nomad brand, the house. And I also got a discovery set from them. And let me just tell you how blown away I am with this set. Not only the appearance of it, but the smells of these fragrances. If you have been curious about Unui Nomad, you definitely need to check out this discovery set. Look at how nice it is. There's the front and then in the back, a little bit more about the brand. And then when you open this up, you'll notice the 10 fragrances the little sample sizes, but what's really cool is there's a card in here for each one of the fragrances. And then when you turn it on the back, it talks a little bit about this fragrance and then it has the notes in there. So you're not like trying to guess like, oh, what do I smell? What is in here? Everything. There's a card for each one of these. And I think that is so classy, super nice. And let me tell you, there's a few in this set that I want that I will 100% be adding to my collection. They're so good. So if you're curious about Unui Nomad, definitely check out their discovery set. I'll put a link in the description box, but it's gorgeous. Really, really nice fragrances. But getting back to Ombre Kanjar, great fragrance. If you love something that's smoky, you love amber, sexy, fall, winter type of fragrance, or even, even in a cooler evening event, this is the perfect fragrance to go for. I love it. This is Ylang Lang Nosy Bee by Paris Monte Carlo. This is another really nice unisex fragrance. This one, in my opinion, leans slightly feminine. It's one of those warm, creamy fragrances. It's kind of like the sun warming up the flowers, especially like yellow florals. It has this really nice opening that's very bright, very zesty. It's got a nice lemon accord that mixes with a mint. So it's very clean, very refreshing. Oh, I, th I think this is such a beautiful fragrance one, and I love wearing this one. I've been wearing it a lot lately, and I just think it's perfect. It has also, obviously, Ylang Lang in here, a little bit of rose. So it's like a powdery rose. There's a little vanilla, some jasmine. As far as performance for this beauty, this one is long-lasting. It works great year-round for mo most occasions, makes a gorgeous signature scent. And again, that was Ylang Lang Nosy Bee by Paris Monte Carlo. All right, this is Orchidée Rouge of the Parfum by Soradora. This is a great unisex fragrance that goes right down the middle. This is your typical boozy, vanilla, kind of smoky fragrance. It has a really nice black vanilla in the opening, so it's a little darker, a little heavier, very sexy. Mmm, very different. I like this a lot. 
Now it also has some heliotrope. There's some almond milk. So it starts to get a little more creamy as it warms up and then it mixes with some rum. This reminds me just a little bit of Rehab by Initio Parfums. So if you're familiar with Rehab, this is kind of within that same range of fragrances. So very, very nice. This has moderate longevity. I would say this is probably better suited for the fall, winter. You can wear this one day or night during that season. You could even wear it on like a cooler spring evening. All around really, really nice. I'm very impressed with this fragrance. And you've heard me talk about this one before. Again, that was Orchidée Rouge by Soradora. All right, this is Meaningful Work Eau de Parfum by Melic Perfumes. This is a great unisex fragrance. And Matthew personally sent this one to me to try out. And as you can see, I've only had it two weeks and I've already put quite a big dent into this one. I really like this one a lot. It's very different. It's light. It's bright. It's citrusy. Opens with a gorgeous grapefruit accord. So if you like that freshness from grapefruit, this one really stands out. And then it has this magnolia blossom that it blends really well with. Mm, and you're getting slight hints of some white vetiver. Now what makes this fragrance unique in my opinion is the red clay accord. You're definitely going to get that as it warms up on your skin. So it starts really bright very effervescent and clean and crisp and then it dries down to more slightly earthy kind of feel to it which i really like now this is a handmade exclusive from matthew himself as far as performance wise this has moderate longevity this does get a little closer to the body so if you like a fragrance that's a little softer not quite so loud then you'll really enjoy this one i recommend this one for year round day or night very versatile, very nice fragrance. And again, this one was Meaningful Work by Melic Perfumes. All right, this is Valea Ada Parfum by Parfums de Marly. And this one is for women. This is such a beautiful scent. I actually got a sample of this one and I reached out to them. I'm like, I have to have a full bottle of this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I have to add it to my collection. So I got one. And let me tell you, this opens so fresh, clean, soft, but don't let that fool you. This has some punch to it. It lasts and lasts and lasts. It is definitely not a pushover type of fragrance. It comes across very soft, very sweet, and then it just goes and goes and goes. There's bergamot in here as well as some mandarin. You're getting some hints of some white peach, some orange flower, little hints of vetiver and some musk. This has great longevity. This is a very, very long lasting fragrance, not only on your skin, but also on your clothes. So if you like those fragrances that really cling, leave a beautiful trail, feminine, elegant, this is the fragrance to look into, especially if you're getting married and you want something that's very unique, will stand out and last all day into the evening, then you're definitely going to want to try Vallea. This is great for spring, summer, daytime, very versatile, very nice fragrance. And again, this is Vallea by Parfums de Marly. All right, this is Bosphorus Pro Eau de Parfum by Alhabra. This is a love. This is, oh, I adore this fragrance. This is unisex, slightly feminine. But guys, you can pull this one off for sure. This is one of those fragrances that's very clean, bright, beautiful, stunning, really stands out. This reminds me a little bit of Delina and Delina Exclusive by Parfums de Marly. So if you're familiar with those fragrances, then you'll really enjoy this one. It opens with a lot of mougette. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. There's also soft, very soft whispers, not a lot, of violet. And I don't like violet, but it doesn't really bother me in this fragrance. So if you're not a big violet fan, don't worry about it. You're not really going to be able to pick it up in here. It has rose. There's ylang lang. There's hints of some jasmine tea, a little bit of musk, and some dry wood. This has great, and I mean great longevity. So if you like a fragrance that will stay with you from morning up until early evening, then this is definitely the one to look into. It leaves a gorgeous trail. It is a definite compliment getter. This works great for the spring, the summer, early fall, daytime. So it is a great fragrance, and it's Bosphorus Pearl by Alhabra. This is Sana Eau de Parfum by Blend Oud. This is a great unisex fragrance that is right down the middle. This is that delicious gourmand fragrance. If you want to smell edible, this is the way to go. 
This reminds me so much of like a vanilla cake that's just been taken out of the oven, drizzled with some orange sauce, some caramel, absolutely decadent. If you have a sweet tooth, this is definitely going to fulfill your sweet tooth, but it's, it's not like sickly cloying sweet. It's done in a manner that's just absolutely perfect. It has enough of those other notes that just blend beautifully. Oh, I love this. There's blood orange, there's bergamot. I would say the blood orange probably is the most apparent in the opening. That's the one that's really going to stand out with you. Mixes with some light lavender, a little jasmine going on. And then you've got some spice from cinnamon. You've got a licorice accord, your vanilla and caramel. So absolutely delicious. Now it reminds me a little bit of Lyra by Zhirzhov, but this one is a lot smoother. I like, I prefer Sana more than I do the Lyra. So if you know Lyra, then, and you like it, oh, Sana is going to be a love for you. It's super long lasting. It projects nicely, leaves a gorgeous trail. It's smooth. It's sexy, decadent. I think I said that a few times already. This is perfect for the fall, the winter, and you can wear this one day or night. So for the cooler months, if you want a great signature scent and you want to smell edible, and trust me, when people hug you, they're not going to want to let go. You're going to smell so good. Again, that was Santa by Blendude. Mm. This is Contessa Eau de Parfum by Moresque. This is a unisex fragrance that leans slightly feminine, and the bottle itself is just gorgeous. It's a work of art. I think it's beautiful. Now, this is considered an aromatic, spicy fragrance. It opens with some pink pepper. This reminds me a lot, I don't know why I get this, a root beer. It smells like root beer. Some people have said it smells like grape soda, and I can totally see where they would say that. I smell a little bit of that. Yeah, it kind of does smell like grape soda. It smells really good. It has a little bit of spiciness that comes from some nutmeg. There's some anise in here. You're getting rose, ylang lang, some abroxin, vanilla, and tonka beans. So a lot of really nice notes in here. And they all work together beautifully to create this absolute masterpiece. Long lasting. Another great one for performance. This I would recommend more for the fall, winter. You can wear this one day or night. I think this one's really sexy. So if you want to really get attention, I would wear this one at night on a date, whether it's a first date, a hundredth date, or maybe you're with your significant other. This is a gorgeous fragrance. I love it. It's sexy. It's beautiful. And again, this was Contessa by Moresque. All right. This is Milk Plus Eau de Parfum by Commodity. This fragrance is considered in the bold scent space which means it projects, it's stronger. A lot of more people around you are gonna be able to smell this one. This is a unisex fragrance that goes right down the middle. This is a woody marshmallow type of perfume that smells absolutely wonderful. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Replica by the Fireplace, but Replica by the Fireplace is so smoky, which I absolutely love. It doesn't bother me, but a lot of people that's the one thing they say bothers them about replica by the fireplace is that smokiness. This, on the other hand, is a little more on the sweet side, less smoky. You're still going to get smokiness, but not quite so much. So if you like less smoky, you'll absolutely love this one. There's cashmere woods in here, a little tonka bean. And of course, that fluffy, soft, slightly sweet marshmallow going on, as well as some amber and firewood. Like I said, reminiscent of By the Fireplace, but less smoky. Really nice longevity. Lasts a long, long time, not only on your skin, but obviously on your clothes. You're going to smell it days later. This I recommend more for the fall, winter. You can wear it day or night. Great signature scent. Most occasions. All around really nice fragrance. And again, this one was Milk Plus by Commodity. All right, last I've got Plum and Cognac Eau de Parfum by Sense of Wood. This is a unisex fragrance that leans slightly masculine, in my opinion. This is one of those woody, spicy fragrances that is loaded with caramel, tobacco, cognac. There's a little bit of some cinnamon in here for some spiciness. Ah. Oh so good plum and the plum is ripe but it's not overly sweet there's a little bit of nutmeg you've got your vanilla going on and again that cognac this has fabulous longevity so if you like fragrances that can just keep up with you and last and last and last 
then this is definitely one to look into. This one is the fall, winter, kind of early spring, maybe more for the nighttime. However, you can definitely pull this one off during the day. I love this one. I have had this one for a couple of years now and absolutely adore it. I wear it a lot during the fall and winter time. I just, I love it. It's sexy. It's just an all around great fragrance. And again, this one is the Plum and Cognac by Sense of Wood. All right, there you have my 10 niche fragrances from my collection that I highly recommend. So if you would like to look into these, I'm going to put links in the description box so that you can check them out. But I would love to know from you guys, what is your favorite niche fragrance? What do you enjoy wearing? I like to hear about all the different fragrances, so I enjoy your comments immensely. Now, if you ended up liking this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up subscribe, hit that notification bell, then you know each time I upload a new fragrance. I really do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch this video. I'll see you again real soon.